have a helper right here. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Felicia. And she works here at the Fall River Public Library. If you ever need a magic book or something like that, you come see Felicia. She'll show you how to get the magic books in here. She knows where every, you know where every book is, yes, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, now, Felicia, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the basic um, I'm gonna guess your card trick, okay? okay? You see a lot of magicians do that where they tell you to pick a card and then they guess your card, that kind of thing. This is an easy version of that, okay? So okay. what we're gonna do, you go ahead and pick a card, any one you want. Go ahead, and don't let don't let me influence you, pull it out, hold it up against your chest, all right, and then I'm gonna turn this way. I want you to take a look at it and then show it to the camera, but I'm gonna go this way so I can't see what it is. All right, so you look at it, show it to the camera so the people who are watching can see what it is, and then hold it back up against your chest. Let, you got it? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take the cards and I'm gonna cut the deck just like this, okay? Now I want you to place your card right on top of the, the cut part of the deck. All right, then I'm gonna take these, put those on top, just like that. Then I'm gonna give them a little riff, just like this. All right, do you guys remember what the card was? Felicia, you remember what the card was? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna spread the cards out like this so that we can see all the faces, okay? All right, let's see. All right, now, I'm gonna rub my hand over it like this and I'm gonna go, okay, it's not any of these, okay? So it's probably gonna be one of these. All right, let's see. All right, it's not any of these. All right, so it's probably one of these. So let's see. Yeah, it's none of those. All right, so is your card one of these right here? Yes. It is? Yes. All right, it is a number card, is it not? No. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I said, is it not? Right, no, okay, so no. we get rid of all the number cards. All right, just like that. All right, let me see. All right, so we got four cards to choose from. Pick a number between one and four. Four. Four? It's that one. Is that your card? Yes, it is. Yes. Let's give Felicia a big hand for being my assistant. She did a great job. Great big high five. Yes. All right, guys. Now, are you ready to learn how to do that trick? Here's the secret of the I'm going to guess your card trick. Okay? Now, all you need is a regular deck of cards. Now, these, this is a regular deck of cards. Even though they look different, they're like my favorite cards. So, but they are a regular deck of cards. They're not magic cards or anything like that. Now what you're gonna do, the whole secret, okay, is you have somebody pick a card, any one they want. They can pick any card they want, okay? Let's say they pick this one, which is the 10 of diamonds, okay? Now, you are going to cut the deck of cards just like this, okay? Then you are gonna have them put the 10 of diamonds on top of this half, of the deck. Now, when you grab this part of the deck, this half, you want to look at the very bottom card. Okay, you want to take a quick peek at the very bottom card. Now, you know when you put this card on top of the ten of diamonds, wow, that's, that's freaky, we have ten of clubs, that it's going to be the card right before the ten of clubs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make believe. This is, the rest of this is all make believe. We're gonna go like this and go, okay, it's not over here. And then we're gonna go like this. Okay, it's not over here. And then we're gonna look through here like this. And then we're gonna say, oh, I found your card. And then you take the card and show them what it is. Did you get that one? Cool, if you didn't get it, rewind this and you'll learn how to do it again. All right, guys, here we go. We have another trick, and this one is even harder than the last one, but it's gonna be very impressive when you learn how to do it. This is called the disappearing coin trick, okay? And all you need is a coin. You can use a nickel or a quarter, 
anything you want, any kind of coin you have, and you tell people that you are going to make this coin disappear right off this table, right before their eyes. Okay? Now, to make sure that I don't touch this coin, I am going to take this salt shaker and put it right on top just like that, so there's no way that my fingers can touch this coin. But, in order to keep it a secret, I'm going to take a napkin, I'm going to take one like this, and then I'm going to take another one, cover it like this, and show you that I am going to make this disappear. You guys ready? Alright, watch this. One, two, three. And the coin has disappeared, ladies and gentlemen. The, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. You have to count to three, okay? Remember that. I, did I count to three? I think I did. All right, here we go. One, two, three. And that, hold on a second. Um, maybe you got to do it faster. Maybe, okay, all right, all right, hold on. One, two, three. I don't understand what's going on. You know what? This isn't the disappearing coin trick. This is the disappearing salt shaker trick. I knew it was something like that. Sorry about the mix up, guys. Sorry about that. Now, do you want to learn how to do that? Okay. The first thing you're going to need, hold on, it went through the table, is a salt shaker. Okay? Now, you're going to need a coin. A salt shaker, and you know what? If you don't have a salt shaker, you can use like um, a plastic cup or a glass or something like that and put it over it. But I, I tend to use a salt shaker because it fits right over a coin, perfect. Now, what you're gonna do is you are going to tell people that you are going to make this coin disappear right off the table, right in front of their eyes. No sleight of hand, no trickery, it's just gonna disappear. And to make sure you don't touch it, you're gonna cover it with the salt shaker. Now here's where the real secret of the trick begins. You're going to take two napkins, just like this. You're going to open them up, and you're going to cover the salt shaker, just like this. Then you're going to go just like that, okay? So everybody can see the shape of the salt shaker. And as you can see right now, the salt shaker is still in there, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to do what we call misdirection. What you want to make people do is look at the coin while you are doing something else. Okay? Now, I'm going to cover the coin like this. I'm going to count to three, one, two, three, and snap my fingers and move back the salt shaker. Okay? So they're all looking at the coin. You make sure that everybody's looking at the coin, like, oh, the coin is still there. Make sure everybody's still looking at that. When they do, you take the salt shaker out of the napkin and hold it in your lap, just like that. See? Then, you still have the shape of the salt shaker. They think the salt shaker's still in there. So you do it a couple of more times. One, two, three. Oh, it's still there. One, two, three. Oh no, and then you go, oh, I remember. It's not the coin that disappears, it's the salt shaker that disappears. Enjoy the trick, I hope you like it. I've got another trick for you, and this one is really, really cool. And this one is, uh, you can make stuff, you can make this from stuff around the house, okay? What I did was I took an old soda bottle, and I painted it up, and I put some jewels on it, just like this, and it's a little scratched up, but I mean, it still works. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this as a magic genie bottle. And you're gonna tell people that there's a genie inside this bottle. And to prove it, you'll show it to them. Now, you also need a piece of rope, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rope and you're gonna put it right inside the bottle, just like that, okay? Then you're going to tell the people that the genie is going to hold on to the rope inside the bottle. 
And to prove it, you're going to turn the bottle upside down. You're going to see that the rope is inside the bottle. So here we go. Ready? Watch this. The genie is now holding the rope inside the bottle. Isn't that cool? Like the rope won't fall out because the genie... Oh, I should move my hand. Oh, okay. So if I hold it like this and show you that the genie is holding that rope inside the bottle, look at that. If I tug on this rope, just like this, look, he's got a good grip on there. Let's see what would happen if I held it this way. Are you holding on? You are? All right, let's see. Look at that. He's holding on to the rope in the bottle. Pretty cool, huh? And then if you want to, you can take this out like this and show everybody the rope and that the bottle's empty and you can ask them to do it. And I bet they can't because they don't know the secret. But you will in a minute. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. First, you gotta make a bottle just like this. You can paint it up, you can put stickers on it. Just make sure that the bottle has a long skinny neck. It's very important that the bottle has a long skinny neck, okay? Then you need a piece of rope, okay? And you need a little ball of tin foil. That's all you need. You get a little bit of tin foil and you make a nice little ball that just fits inside the top of the bottle. Make sure it just fits. Don't make it too small or too big. It's gotta just fit right inside. Now, here's how we do it. We have the bottle, okay? We have the rope. What we do is we hand the bottle to somebody, have them look inside so they can see that nothing's inside the bottle, okay? Then we hand them the rope. While they're examining the rope, we can take the bottle and put the ball inside, see? Just like that. I just slid the ball right inside, just like that. I had it in my hand. I just took the bottle, put the ball right inside. Nobody will see that because they'll be looking at the rope, okay? Then what you do is you put the rope right inside the bottle, and when you tip the bottle over, what will happen is that little ball that's in there of tin foil will get between the inside of the bottle and the rope, and it will hold the rope inside, just like that. Now, if you give it a little tug, just like this, what it does is it wedges that ball so close to that rope and it makes it nice and tight. And you'll be able to feel it, that it's nice and tight. Then what you do is you take the bottle, tip it upside down, and it'll hold up inside just like that. And if you don't swing it around too hard, you can't swing it around too hard, but if you just move it just a little like that, it looks like the genie is holding the bottle, I mean the rope inside the bottle. Now, when you want to finish the trick, you pull the rope out just like this. When you do, you're actually pulling out the ball too at the same time. See, you hand them the rope, tell them to examine the rope, hand them the bottle just like this. And if you want, you could just drop this in your lap and nobody will ever see it. And they'll wonder how you did it. And then you tell them, go ahead, try, try to do it. And they won't be able to do it because only you know the secret. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed those little tricks that I did for you. And remember, you really have to practice them before you do them in front of anybody. You can do them in front of like mom and dad and stuff, and, and they can give you tips and pointers on maybe what you're doing wrong. Now, I want to thank the Fall River Public Library for having me here and, and being able to teach you guys how to do these tricks. The reason is, is because when I started doing magic, when I was like nine, 10 years old, I used to actually come here to the Fall River Public Library and check out books on magic and puppets and clowning and things like that to help me, you know, be a better magician. So if you're interested in any of these tricks that I showed you and, and you want to learn how to do more, the best place to go is the library. They have so many books on magic and puppets and all kinds of crazy fun stuff. So make sure you stop by here sometime and thank you once again and I hope you really enjoyed these tricks and maybe I can come back some other time and teach you a few more.